Hey there. Now that's a knife. Or at least that's a very big Swiss Army knife. That is a Wanger Mountaineer from Wanger's original Ranger series. A 120 millimeter line that they made from 1990 to 2007. And um, it was replaced in 2007 with Wanger's new Ra uh, Ranger series, which were 130 millimeter knives. Um, the ones with the you know more modern look and uh, Victorinox still sells them today under the Delamont collection. But uh, back in uh, 1990 to 2007, this is what they were making. Again, 120 millimeters. When I measure this out, I actually come up with about uh, like 124 millimeters, 123 millimeters. And I've heard the new ones aren't quite 130 either, but they're closer to 130 than 120, so they decided to call them 130 millimeter. Uh, but these knives, they were uh, sold in a lot of different models. They had um, one, two, three, and four layer configurations. This is a three layer configuration. The Mountaineer brings to the table your regular tool set, a big capable wood saw, and a Phillips driver on the back instead of a corkscrew. Uh, has uh, nylon handles. Uh, the Wanger uh, symbol does look like it's silk screened on there, but it's actually a piece of metal. It's just very thin, like a piece of foil set down in there. And then you can see here embossed is Wanger's old kind of modern symbol there. And uh, there's some other things going on. But these were uh, kind of ergonomic in their time. They've got a, a curve to them and kind of a shape there, some swells, palm swells. Uh, but they did bring some new features uh, onto the market. Uh, this was the first time, I believe, well, no, it wasn't the first time, but it was uh, very unusual for a Swiss Army knife to have a clip point blade, particularly of this size. So, you know, that was different. This blade measures out from tip to choil about 90 millimeters and from tip to a knife handle about 100 millimeters, so that's a nice size blade. And um, just to give you a comparison, here's the uh, blade from Torinox's 111 millimeter knife, a Forester. And here's a blade from a, a little camper, 91 millimeter. So that's, uh, that was unusual for a Swiss Army knife. Uh, it's a very sharp, thick, long, capable blade. And I like the traditional clip style. Uh, on one side, you've got a tank stamp that reads Winger, Delamont, Switzerland Stainless. Trust me. <laughs> Come on, camera. Here we go. All right. And on the other side, uh, patent pending. And the reason it says patent pending was the other innovative feature that was introduced was uh, a liner lock. I think this was the first time you had a liner lock on a Swiss Army knife. And what Winger did is they put this slide lock um, on kind of, I guess, on, for a left-handed slider lock. And when you pull back on it, you can see the liner being disengaged. So it's pretty smart. It uh, couldn't accidentally be uh, engaged you know, by a pressing or pushing forward on it. There's really nothing you're going to be doing, at least with your right hand, that's going to accidentally pull that back. So very safe. Very safe. The other tools on board, Wenger style can opener. So I'm coming to really like these because they're a little bigger and they're super sharp. Sharp point, sharp edge. So you've got a really good kind of scoring, ripping, or cutting tool there. On its, on its own, you know, even if you're not going to be opening cans. And on this end, you have a very long reach flathead, flathead screwdriver, cap lifter, wire bender, wire stripper. And if you notice there, it says EP patent, European patent. So this was patented. This is their pressure lock system. Is what, that's, what, that's what they're alluding to there. When you put a lot of pressure on that screwdriver, like you're driving a screw or you're chiseling something, it's going to press in a little bit and it cannot collapse when it's pressed in. It has to be released before you can close it. The nice thing about that over, say, um, what you get on this Forster, you know, it's got the locking screwdriver as well. 
but it's a liner lock so you know you got to go press that to close your screwdriver here you don't you just close it so I like that so the most interesting tool on this knife I think is the large saw this is a very big saw and I think it's a saw you see pretty much on the 130 millimeter models in the Delamont collection nowadays this uh, and, and that you saw on Winger's New Ranger series someone asked me to do a saw performance comparison and I'd really like to do that but I'm just gonna have to wait because this knife is practically new I, I don't think it's probably ever really been used I want to keep it that way because I intend to pass it along at some point but just to give you a size comparison um, here is let's get this camper out again here's a 91 millimeter Victorinox saw here's a 111 millimeter Victorinox saw and it, it really dwarfs that 91 millimeter saw but when you lay that Ranger up against them it dwarfs both of them so they're all designed pretty much the same they all have uh, cross-cut teeth they're camphored where they're thinner at the trailing edge so they'll pass through wood easier so obviously the the saw with the longer reach or stroke is gonna win the day uh, it's gonna cut bigger wood faster it's not gonna be even a comparison I mean it's not even gonna be a contest here so uh, you know honestly I don't really have to do a test you can pretty well see which one would rip through a 2x4 faster by the way knife Tex has got a great video of him ripping through a 2x4 with one of these blades and uh, I can't f remember how fast he does it but it's pretty fast okay what else back tools Mountaineer has a Phillips driver and not a corkscrew it's a nice long reach Phillips driver here you can see the aluminum liners that this knife has one thing that Winger always did that I liked was for their punch or their awl, they always had a cutout in the scale and the nail nick on this side. So you can just get in there and get it. It just pops right open. You don't have to dig around behind the corkscrew or your Phillips driver trying to find it. It's just right there. Now, unfortunately, they weren't sharpened. Uh, so it can't work as a drill. It's just simply a punch. And oddly enough, it's really not that sharp. It is, however, a good size. One criticism I have of the new 130 millimeter knives from Victorinox is that they took Wanger's big 130 millimeter knife and they put some of their smaller tools on it. Uh, they're better tools, like their sharpened reamer, the Victorinox can opener, but they look awfully out of place. They're so small on this size knife. Okay, so let me weigh the knife and then I'll wrap up this review. But uh, let's do this in grams first. And we have 145 grams, which is 5.1 ounces. So it's not that heavy, and that's probably down to the aluminum liners and the nylon scales. Now this knife is too big for pocket carry, but it's a great size for a backpack or the glove box or a toolbox. Um, so yeah, these, um, these have been out of production now for 10 years. You can still find them out there, although they're getting harder to find in like new condition. Um, I can understand why they modernized them, but there are a lot of features of the older ones that I hate to see gone. So that's the Winger Mountaineer from the original Ranger series. Hey, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. It costs absolutely nothing, and I can guarantee you will get exactly what you pay for. And uh, if you'd like to see what knives I have for sale from time to time, follow me on Etsy and follow me on Instagram. There are links all over the place to do that. And as always, thanks for watching.